In this video, we will see how field views can be used to set how individual fields are displayed in a view. Looking at the view that we built last time is a good opportunity to talk about field views. So we built this last time. This is a view that is a list, but it also is a gateway into two other views, one of the show uh, pattern and one of the edit pattern, and we have various functionality here. Now, looking at this, um, there's immediately one thing that is, is wrong, and that is that the date of birth has a, uh, a, a time on it, an hour. It's not just the date, but it's also the time of the day, and we don't usually want this in the date of birth. So let's go ahead. We will see how we can use field views to change that. So I edit this view. I can either go through the views and then find my list, or I can just press edit up here. And then I want to go through the steps. And then I find the date of birth, edit here. And then you notice here in the configuration below the field, you have a setting called field view, where you have different options for how to display this field depending on the type. So this type is date. And the options here you have are, you know, there are a couple of options that are specific to date. So the one we would probably want for a, a date of birth is show day. So that only shows the day, not the time. And so all I can do here is update here. And then I can go back and see it. And there we go. Now the date is uh, shown alone with no time. Uh, I'll just show you one of the other ones. Um, if we go back to the date of birth, relative is useful sometimes, not in this particular context, but so we can see a date of birth, 44 years ago, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, there are some more powerful options. Uh, I want to be here, date of birth. Uh, format. So some of the field views have um, a configuration where you can enter some parameters. And uh, so if you want um, a specific date format, then you can type something here. So let's see, I can't actually remember, you can just Google this format specifiers, maybe we should have a link here. But let's just see if they do the good old year month date. There we go. So now I've, I have a custom format for for the for the date of birth here. All right, let's go. Let's go back to uh, to what it was before. The nice thing is, if you show the um, if you pick the show day, then it is relative to location where you're using the browser. So different countries have different ways of showing uh, dates. So in um, in the US, you have the month first and in, in Europe, you have the uh, date day first. Uh, so this is should should show it in the right way depending on where you are. Okay, so we have now seen how field views can be used to change the way that a type, a value of a field in a particular type is displayed in a list. But what about the edit view? So let's again talk about the date. That's typically where trouble starts. Um, and in the edit view, currently, I just have a uh, an entry box here where I can type something into the date of birth, but I'm not quite sure what format it's expecting. And this is a lot of work for the user. And it gets even worse, you know, when you're adding a new person here in this form. So what am I supposed to type here? What am I allowed to type? And so we'd like to change that. Unfortunately, in built in, I don't have a lot of options here, I can essentially get in this form. So in the edit views, um, you can always choose one of the field views that are made for showing data. Um, let's just see that. But that means I don't, I can't edit it anymore. If I choose one of those field views, it's just showing the existing value. So that's no good. And although I do have for the 
date of birth, although I do have edit and edit day, they're just both entry boxes. One is expecting the full time, one is expecting just a day. So this doesn't, you know, this isn't, I'm not able to build a very user-friendly interface with this. So, but new field views can be installed in modules. And so that's one of the main purposes of modules in Saltcorn is to install new field views for existing types and also to provide new types that come with their own field views. So let's search for date up here. And so this flat picker date, that's a time date picker for date fields. That is a really good interface. So I just install it and then I go back to my form and now I have a few more options for the field view. So I have flat picker and now I can choose um, that has some small options here and I want only the day. There we go. Let's try that now. So we go back to our main form here and then I can pick the date in a nice pop-up calendar here. Um, and likewise, when I'm adding a person, a new person, then I get a much nicer calendar here where I can pick the date and I don't have to type anything here. I want to go just one step further and show how by installing a new module, I can gain not only new field views, but also new types that I can use in my tables. So let's go to the module store. And I want to show you that we can install a rich text editor. There's one called CK editor. So if I install that, then that will not only give me a field view for um, HTML fields, but it will also give me the HTML field type. So um, because the CK editor depends on the HTML type, that module has also been installed just by installing the CK editor. And now I get a new type that I can use in my table. So for instance, I might want to add a biography to each of these people. So I'll call that the bio. And now I have a new type here, HTML, in, my, in the types that I can choose for a field in a table. And this is not a translation of anything. So now I have the bio here. And now I want to add that. Let's say I don't want it in the list because it's probably too long, but I will put it in the form. So let's, the way I usually do this is just by duplicating these. And then I choose the field is the bio. And edit HTML would just give me a, a standard text area, but I want the uh, I want the rich text editor, CK editor four, as the field view, and then I have some options. I can choose how uh, high I want it, and also I can choose some um, different options in terms of what tools are available in toolbar. Uh, let's just see here. We'll make that reduced. Uh, so I only have a couple of buttons and that's it. So let's go back to the list and edit. Uh, so here we go. Now I've got a, a rich text editor and I can uh, type things about Rebecca. And I can use the, um, you know, the standard rich text tools here. And of course I can, I can do other stuff. She plays football, tennis. 
And now I didn't include that field in the list, but I want to put it in the show. So here again, I'll duplicate this column. And over here, there will be a field. And that field should be the bio. And you have some options here, but show all is the standard for HTML that will just show the HTML. And now we can see it here. If we show Rebecca, we've got the HTML with the bullet points, the bold that I had before. And if I press edit, I go back and I get the rich text editor again. And my other um, people in the database, you know, another person here doesn't have a bio yet, but um, I can type one in. Okay, so uh, we have seen how Field views are different ways that uh, fields can be shown and the uh, field view options are determined by the type of the field in the table. And we have seen how new modules can install new field views that you can use to show fields in different ways. And also how new modules can install new types that um, you can have different field views for. In the next video, we will talk about how you can build another type of view called a filter that um, doesn't show data on its own, but that is used to restrict uh, what rows are shown on the current page. And we will talk more generally about the filter state.